Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael from Fast and Linux Journal. When it comes to operating systems, most people choose between Windows and Linux. Both platforms have different philosophies, target audiences and technical features, but they both run on classic 64-bit computers. Windows is the most used operating system worldwide, while Linux is popular among tech enthusiasts, developers and server admins. This guide will explain key differences and help you choose the best system. We'll cover usability, security, software availability and other aspects relevant to beginners or switchers. If you are using Windows and unsure about the future after Windows 10 support ends, or you don't want to upgrade to Windows 11, you're in the right place. Ready? Now let's get started. Windows is known for its user-friendly interface. Since Windows 95, Microsoft aimed for an intuitive experience. Windows uses a graphical interface with a start menu, Windows and a taskbar. Most people are familiar with Windows since it's pre-installed on most PCs worldwide. This makes it a preferred OS for average users. The latest version like Windows 10 and Windows 11 modernized the interface for better comfort. Linux can appear complicated, especially for beginners. There is not just one or the Linux, but many distributions, each with its own interface. Popular distributions like Ubuntu, Linux Mint or Fedora have improved usability. Most modern environments like GNOME, KDE Plasma or Cinnamon function similarly to Windows. The difference lies in Linux's extensive customization options, making it attractive to tech users. Windows is a proprietary software, meaning you must purchase a license. Often this license is included in the price of a new computer. If you install Windows separately, you must buy a paid license. Prices vary by version, with professional and enterprise version being more expensive. Windows also offers paid service like apps in the Windows Store or Microsoft Office. Linux is open source, so it's free to download and use. Each distribution is free and you don't pay licensing fees. You can modify, adjust and share the OS freely. Some distributions offer pay support like Red Hat or Ubuntu or SUSE, but the OS itself remains free. Windows supports a fast range of software. Programs like Microsoft Office and popular games are designed for Windows. This makes Windows the first choice for users needing many applications. It's especially popular among gamers since most games are made for Windows. Windows offers a familiar installation process with executable files. Linux offers a wide variety of free open source software. Programs like LibreOffice, GIMP, Blender and VLC are common on Linux. However, some commercial software is not available on Linux. There are ways to run Windows programs on Linux using tools like Wine or Virtual Machines. Linux software availability has improved recently with more proprietary apps like Zoom, Slack, Microsoft Edge and Visual Studio now available. Windows is a frequent target for malware, viruses and cyber attacks. Microsoft has improved security with tools like Windows Defender. However, Windows is still more vulnerable due to its market share. Installing X or security software is recommended to protect your data. Linux is considered more secure for several reasons. The Linux kernel is inherently more secure. Linux also has fewer desktop users, making it less attractive to hackers. Its open source nature allows security holes to be quickly found and fixed. Many admin tasks require special permissions, making it harder for malware to spread. Windows is a closed system limiting deep customizations. While users can change visuals, the system architecture remains fixed. Those wanting to tweak the system deeply may encounter restrictions. Windows offers a consistent and user-friendly experience without requiring technical skills.
Linux is highly customizable. Users can modify every aspect of the system from the desktop appearance to the kernel. This flexibility appeals to developers, system admins and tech enthusiasts needing tailored solutions. Many Linux distributions cater to specific needs like older hardware or servers. Windows supports a wide range of hardware. Nearly every PC sold today is compatible with Windows. Hardware manufacturers provide Windows drivers making it easy to use peripherals. Gaming hardware and graphic cards work best on Windows with drivers released first. Drivers can nowadays install and are often updated via Windows Update. Linux supports many hardware devices but not always out of the box. Newer devices may require manual driver installation. On brand new hardware, it could honestly be possible that there is no yet a Linux driver available. In this case, you may have to wait for the next Linux kernel update. All the hardware typically runs smoothly on Linux. The driver situation has improved with many distributions, including pre-installed drivers. If not proprietary driver exists, open source drivers like Nuvu driver or Nvidia graphic cards are used. Windows generally require more system resources, especially newer versions of Windows. Its graphical interface, background processes and wide software compatibility slow down older computers. After some years, Windows may slow down due to temporary files and unused software. Tools exist to optimize performance, but most users may not use them. Linux is known for its resource efficiency. Lightweight distributions like Lubuntu or Q4OS work well on older hardware. Even heavier distributions like Ubuntu or Fedora are faster than Windows on similar systems. Linux has fewer background processes, so performance remains stable over time. Microsoft provides professional support, but usually for a fee. There are also online resources, forums and documentation for help. Many IT professionals specialize in Windows and can assist with issues. Windows is widely used that many people share similar experiences. The Linux community is a major strength. As open source software, a large community of developers and users offer help. You can often get quick support in forums, wikis and IRC channels. This community-driven support is usually free and helpful, especially for beginners. Some distributions offer paid professional support, especially for business. Windows updates are controlled by Microsoft. Major updates occur twice a year with smaller security patches in between. The updates can disrupt work, require restarts and sometimes causing compatibility issues Microsoft has improved the update system, ensuring most users stay up to date automatically. Linux updates are more flexible and transparent. Users can choose when and which packages to update. Security and feature updates are regular but usually don't require restarts. Linux modular nature allows updates without restarting the whole system. Whether Windows or Linux is better for you cannot be answered universally as it depends on individual needs and preferences. Windows is easy to use for most people because they are familiar with it. Linux is not necessarily harder to use than Windows, especially if you choose the right distribution. If you are currently using Windows and considering switching, I encourage you to go for it. At the same time, I recommend the following Linux distributions for the switch. Linux Mint. Kubuntu or Ubuntu. Linux Mint and Kubuntu come with a Windows-like interface which ensures that the Linux system doesn't feel completely unfamiliar. Ubuntu itself offers an intuitive interface with its customized GNOME desktop. At the same time, Ubuntu is very user and beginner friendly and supports a wide range of hardware. Linux Mint and Kubuntu are also based on Ubuntu, benefiting from its ease of use and excellent hardware support. Ultimately, it depends on how you use your computer. Whether Windows or Linux, your good feeling should guide you. I've been using Linux since 2003 and feel completely at home with this choice. When there are issues after Windows updates, I take it in stride and keep working.
you can do that too. And even if you decide to stick with Windows in the end, that's fine. It has to work for you and everyone walks their own path. I hope this video was helpful. If so, I'd be happy if you subscribe to the channel for free, give the video a thumbs up and hit the bell to get notified when new content appears here on the Foss on Linux Journal channel. Before you turn off the video, wait a moment. In the end card, I'll show you two more video suggestions. One discusses privacy and why Linux is the better choice for that, and the other cheekily addresses the topic, is Linux better than Windows? The truth might surprise you. I hope you enjoy and thank you for your kind attention. See you soon, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great week. Peace.